okay, but if anyone feels differently, I'll be here with my old buddy, Connect Four. Pretty sneaky, sis. Welcome to part 12 of my VHS collection. Got a whole row of stuff here. So, here we go. I showed this movie before, but this is, happens to be the original VHS release of Spaceballs. Notice it says Spaceballs the video. Just like it did in the movie. But yeah, Spaceballs is actually my all-time favorite Mel Brooks movie, if you didn't know. I don't know, it's just so great. Something weird about this tape, though. Notice it says PG on the box, but when you, when you look at the label, it says Spaceballs, right? I don't know if you can make that out, but it says rated PG-13. Which is weird, because it's like PG on the box, PG-13 on the label, so they made a mistake. I don't know if that's only on the original video copy or what, but I found that strange. Anyway, the print date is February 2nd, 1988. Check this movie out if you haven't. This is uh, from Rags to Riches that my grandparents taped many years ago. I don't know. I just have it. Probably tape over it. Here's Spy Kids, the first Spy Kids. My second favorite Spy Kids movie of all time, the first one. Me and my friend used to watch this movie all the time when I went to the cabin at their cabin and I have to say this is a, this 20 years later this movie still holds up kind of underrated these days in my opinion I should get the DVD there's the tape and the print date is August 3rd 2001 crazy that this movie is already 20 that's a great movie. It was the first movie I saw of Robert Rodriguez's We Needed Kids movies. Here's a version of Hamlet with Mel Gibson and Glenn, Glenn Close. I actually, uh, my I think my friend's mom, my mom's friend gave me this a while back. I remember my uh, freshman teacher, uh, English teacher, mentioned this movie to me that, like, Hamlet and... We saw the version from 96 in class. This version was, like, the earlier one from, I think, 1990? Yeah, 1990. It was different. I'll have to watch it, though. Print date is actually much later. This is March 16th, 2000, so a much later print date. My grandpa says this is pretty good. Mr. Roberts with Henry Fonda, James Cagney, and Jack Lemon. It's from the 50s. I've had this tape for so long. Video is from 83, so it's one, another one of my older videos. There's the tape. Mr. Roberts. No print date. Have to watch it though. 1955. There you go. What is this? Frosty's Wish. Wait. I think this is... Frosty Returns, I believe. From 1990. Like, I think this might be the original airing too. Or at least one of the earlier ones. I gotta watch it again, but I'm pretty sure it was like one of the earliest airings of Frosty Returns. What is this? Princess something... I think it's just some more music video stuff. MTV stuff, yeah. What is this? Oh, I think this is a blank video, but I 
filmed my friend's band and I put it on a tape. I believe, yeah. I, just, I didn't even label it. Yeah. If you... Believe it or not, I've actually never seen this movie. I know, I know. Blasphemous. Kiki's Delivery Service. This is like the last V8 time it was ever put out on VHS. But people tell me it's really, really good. Kristen Dunst is the dub version with Kristen Dunst and the late, great Phil Hartman. I think this tape's from like 2003. Bonus includes behind the scenes with the English voice cast. Yeah, it's a later one. Print date is October 23rd, 2003. And it's got a little mail in for Studio Ghibli films back when Disney used to still own the rights to these. Weird Al Yankovic, Bad Hair Day. The videos. This is all the videos that were made during the Bad Hair Day era, which are Homish Paradise, Gump, Headline News, and Money for Nothing, Beverly Hillbillies. I love Weird Al. He's great. Gotta love him. There's the label. There's no print date. I actually met Weird Al like about seven years ago, I want to say. Nice guy. Sign my CD for me. What is this? I haven't even. Seen, this is a movie called Waves from '96. I know it was made by I think Touchstone. This happens to be like a studio dub of the movie. Kind of cool. I gotta watch it though. I think I got that at Amoeba as well. No, I got this at 80 Brats. Never mind. March of the Wooden Soldiers. Yeah, it's a TV airing of that movie. Tales from the Wa Tales from the Lot. Warner Brothers 90 Years. This is when Warner Brothers celebrated their 90 year anniversary. Pretty interesting. I heard we're actually getting close to the 100 year anniversary now, if I'm correct. But that's cool. I think my uncle taped that. <sighs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. I know people get lot give this movie crap, but I grew up with this movie and I thought it was alright. Looking back, it's still not the greatest Turtles movie, but it's still alright. If you were to ask me, it's probably the first one's my favorite. I remember when Angry Video Game Nerd sliced this tape in half in his movie review for it. That was pretty funny. Yeah, 93. Here's a VHS of the band KISS. This is KISS Extreme Close-Up. History, the facts, the stories. Pretty outdated by now. I mean, this documentary came out in 92. So, the revenge era. But still got a lot of cool footage on it, you know. I think it's been put on DVD since. So I gotta get that DVD. There's actually a new KISS documentary I should watch by A&E that I heard is basically the same stuff. It's got some new footage though. No, um, no print date. High Society, Bing Crosby, Gene Kelly, and Frank Sinatra. This is a musical, I believe. 1956, yeah. Here's the label. And the print date is July 13th, 1988. This is the first Uwe Boll movie I ever watched, and it's probably my least favorite of the ones I've seen. House of the Dead, the game has just begun. It's not that great of a movie. It's okay. Like, even by B-movie standards, it's just okay. 
Okay, I've never seen the sequel. I don't see the print date. I'll probably give this away. It's bootleg copy of Extreme Measures with Gene Hackman. Here's one of my oldest videos. Popeye. Robin Williams. Not Robin Williams' first movie, but one of his first. I grew up watching this movie a long time ago. My grandparents. I gotta glue that. There's the inside. There's the end label. I like Popeye. I know it's not the greatest adaptation of a cartoon, but what can you do? Dreamer of Oz. I got this at a yard sale. I know it's based on the story of the author of The Wizard of Oz, and I don't think it ever got a DVD release. It was only aired on TV, and that was it. But I heard from people that say that it's not the greatest movie, but I don't know. Benji the Haunting or the Hunted. This is a sequel to Benji. Came out in 1987, I want to say. Yeah, the Benji movies are pretty good. And I will give him credit. At least Benji doesn't die in them. Like a bunch of the other freaking dog movies that have to have a dog death in them. Yeah, this came out with by Disney. Hate that. Stranger in Our House, 1978 TV film. I think I also got that Eddie Brands. Pretty sure that also got a video release. Before anyone gets excited, no, this is not one of the Anime Labs Dragon Ball VHSs. This is a uh, one of those subbed videos that some other company made of uh, the return of Frieza, Frieza Battle of Mysterious Youth however another tape I'll show in a bit does I think have one of them yeah decent quality pretty sure it's from like a 16 millimeter film or 35 millimeter film I don't know it's one of those Flight of the Navigator and the Last Starfighter double feature and for some reason it has a business reply mail in it. Don't know why. I think it's copied from the video official. Winx Club. This is the second one in this TV movie. Re Revenge of the Tricks. When did I tape this? August 1st, 2011. Huh. Winx Club's great. Peter Pan was this Troop Beverly Hills and Coming to America. All taped from TV years ago. Lady from Clucking Anime Network Conversion Girl. Where'd I get this? I don't remember getting that. I'll have to watch that. Spongebob Squarepants Deep Sea Sillies Five Tales of the Tides I've had this tape since I was a kid Has Just One Bite Mermaid Man, Barco Boy, Tea at the Tree Dome The Paper and Bart Again Crabs So episodes from the first three seasons This tape came out in 2002 Where is Get out Yeah since 2003 though, so 2003, 2002, something like that. Ralph Paul guitar lesson infomercial, 2013, and World's Dumbest. This is something my uncle taped. Ralph Paul is a guitar teacher, and the World's Dumbest is a TV show. 2013, yeah. 
That's my grandpa's. That's an episode to NCIS. What is this? Dad's episode four and six and eight. Of I was talking about that show, Dad's. Well, these are some episodes from that show. Oh, episodes four, six, seven, and eight. Missing episode five and episode six and seven are incomplete. But I think the show's on DVD, so I gotta get that. Fatal Fury, Legend of the Hungry Wolf. A lot of people say that the Fatal Fury movies are actually really good. So I gotta eventually watch this. I think this is the dub too. Viz Video. Yeah, it is the dub. No print date. I don't even remember owning this. This is The Greatest Adventure, Hanna-Barbera's Daniel in the Lion's Den. Devin, uh, Gavin McCleo does one of the voices and it was animated by Hanna-Barbera in the 80s, I want to say. 87, yeah. There's the tape. No print date. Everyone's seen this movie, I think. Kamani Python and the Holy Grail. Classic, classic, classic stuff. One of my favorite British comedies ever. This is the video from 90, version from 91. I don't know why it says 1974. It came out in 75. There's the label. And no print date. Here's a, a sub Spanish sub version of Tango with English subtitles and a live version of Peter Pan from 2000. I don't know who played Peter Pan. I have to get back to you on that. This is Dragon Ball Z Movie 9, the most dangerous warrior in the galaxy. The Bojack movie. I'm pretty sure this is one of the... Video Labs VHS's or Anime Labs VHS. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. So lucky to have that. That's not for sale. None of these were sit for sale, really. Some episodes of The Bachelor. Whatever. I don't know how rare or common this is, but this is the making of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Behind the Shells. This is actually the making of the second movie that I got at a yard or a Goodwill a long time ago, and I don't know how common or rare it is, but it is pretty interesting to watch. And I don't think this ever got released on DVD. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Yeah, the making of. Pretty interesting. Get to see how the movie was made. 30 years ago. That's crazy to know. Here's one of the many, 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 many versions of Coast of Cows of the Third Kind. This is the collector's widescreen edition. That came out in, I think, 99. Did it come out in 99? 98, okay. It's like got loads more extended minutes of it. 137 minutes, yeah. Pretty good movie. I have the soundtrack to it on vinyl somewhere. Here's a really weird anime I got at a video store years ago. It was from the director of Ninja Scroll called Birdie the Mighty. Final Force. This is a couple episodes, I think, from that. And it's just, it's weird. It's really weird. It's pretty good, but it's very bizarre. When this come out, 96? Okay. One few teenage boy, one female space cop sharing one body. Eight, 90s anime, man. You gotta love it. Yeah, I can't see the print date, but I got it from Video Town. What is this? 
Three Stooges Collection, Volume 1, Uncensored and Uncut. It's got Rumpus in the Harem, Screaming Shemers, and Loose Loot. These are the episodes with Shemp in it. That's pretty cool. It's like five of these, released by Good Times Home Video. There's the tape. Came out in 90. I still have this thing? Wow. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie. It's not, I don't think it's the first Yu-Gi-Oh! It might be, I don't know. I've never been a huge Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, really. And this movie is decent. From what I understand, this is a version of the TV episodes from the TV show put into a theatrical film. It's really it. Kind of, kind of rushed too, from what I remember. Tape says Yu-Gi-Oh, and is there a print date? Yeah, October 26, 2004. Move that. What is this? Oh, Cartoon Planet. Nice. From recorded March 30th, 2012 and April 13th, 2012. So two episodes on this tape. This is back when Cartoon Network actually used to air their old stuff on Cartoon Planet. That was the only way you got to see it at the time. And it was really cool. So I kept, I recorded as much of those as I did. Family Matters and Winx Club. What is this? Some episodes of Family Matters and Winx Club on it. Family Matters I love. Winx Club is also great. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I think this was given to me by my grandparents. What video version is this? 89, okay. Yeah, Dick Van Dyke. It's like a fantasy children's movie. Pretty cool. Villain in the movie is crazy. The Child Catcher. How'd they get away with that back then? What is this? Oh! Okay, this is kind of cool. So this is the Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park movie I showed in one of my other videos. I made a 35th anniversary edition, so I recorded this in 2013. I plugged in my VHSC camera and added an introduction and an outro to the movie. I converted the movie from a DVD onto a tape. Like kind of doing like TM's TCM does. I should upload this one day. Grace Sports Legends Volume Two. Gordy Howe. Just a bunch of sports legends. I'm not a huge sports guy. Anyone knows knows me knows that. It is one of my oldest videos though, from 1978. However, it's better played on an older VCR. Because when I played on my modern VCR, the movie kept just go going up and up and up. I don't know why. Anyway, there's the tape. There's the uh, end label. Magnetic video. Did this ever get put on DVD? I don't know. And last but not least, we have Dads. The episodes from the show I taped. I think this has the first three episodes. Yeah. My the air dates. Good show. Wish it didn't get canned. Uh, it, was, it was good for, for when it was airing. I know not a lot of people dug it, but I liked it. Anyway, that was part 11 of my VHS collection. Uh, see you in the next part.